Hello guys, uh, welcome to another week and another vlog and uh, something a little bit different from me. Um, this is not something I do, this is not something I'm good at and it's not something I've ever done before properly. Um, but I was sent a parcel. Um, I was asked if they could send it and of course being a vlogger, being a YouTube creator, video creator, um, I suppose it was stupid for me to turn it down. I know you guys, please don't switch off all you ones that go, oh, here we go, he's gonna start pushing. I'm not pushing anything. As you know, I use Case at the moment. I also have Lee equipment, which I love. Um, and this is a new one. My old Lee gear, which is here, the old adapter and the polarizer ring. I've still got that and I'll be coming back to that later on because I think I might be giving it away. Um, but yeah, I've got Lee, I've got Case, I was sent this, uh, and you're probably asking, what is it? But this is what it is, I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna show you what it is, and this weekend we are going down south, we're going down to Boscombe near Bournemouth. Um, so I'm gonna try and test what I've got in here, or I'm hoping I'm gonna try and test it, depending on what the weather's gonna do. So after I've done this, it's gonna jump over to wherever I am, and uh, a bit of a surprise, and uh, yeah, we'll test them all. I'm gonna test a lot. This is this is real time. This is Compton style. This is no messing, no ball, no bigging up, no telling you it's fantastic if it's not. I will do a proper full on test and tell you what I personally, and this is personal, what I personally think. But let's cut to the chase. Let's see what we've got in this box. We have been sent by KNF Concept. Uh, they contacted me and asked if I was interested in testing out some big stoppers and little stoppers, or sorry, that's a Lee word, isn't it? Eight, uh, ten stop, six stop, stuff like that, and their holder. Uh, yeah, KNF Concept contacted me. Would I like to test out a couple of things? Well, yes, I said I'd do that, but I'm interested in testing out this, um, which wasn't on the offer, but I asked if I could try it. Um, we've also been sent a polarizer, which I'm going to unbox for you, and let's get these out. This is a array of rings they've sent me just adapter rings to fit my lenses which you don't really need to see because everyone's going to be different on that um, so yeah those two items uh, looking forward to and of course the kit the filter holder kit which is really important and I hope or I think I've got a six or ten stop something like that in there as well so what have we got in the box the boxes are stunning I'm not going to knock it the boxes look fantastic. Doesn't this packaging really do well? I mean, Lee and Case also have fantastic packaging. Uh, personally, I open the box, I take out what's inside, and uh, I don't use it. So personally, get rid of all this really fancy packaging, put it in something safe and secure, spend less money on all this really nice, posh, toughened, tough wall, you know, cardboard, and make these a bit cheaper for everybody else. I don't use that, I never see that. Once I take it out of the box, it goes up in the loft and I never see the box again. So what's the point of putting all that money and effort into the box? Anyway, back to this. Uh, here it is, and uh, first impressions, it's pretty small. Uh, I like the case kit, which I've got here, and uh, like for like, it's pretty much, it's actually smaller in design one way and slightly bigger the other way. Um, size wise that way, pretty good. It's no on exactly the same. I suppose they're all gonna be the same. Lee, on the other hand, is bigger. It's bigger both directions. Lee is a lot wider and a lot taller. Um, but they make theirs out of this new plastic now, um, which is really quite lightweight. And they're all about the same weight. They all weigh pretty much the same. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you they're not. Um, there seems to be a locking system on the side, but the difference with this and these two is I know the case filter, the polarizer goes on the inside. You've seen me use the polarizer, it's on my lens at the moment. Uh, it sticks inside, it's a magnet and it just spins around with that, which is really good. The Lee one, as you know, and this is a really fancy box it comes in. And it, again, I don't use this case. This case I've only really got out just to show you. Um, this lives in my wardrobe next to me camera gear. Um, yeah, so again, really fancy. Great if you're gonna carry it around in your bag because it is a really good protection. So I'm not gonna knock this, but I don't use it. It goes in, it goes in a, a, a pouch like this, which I carry around. Uh, you've seen me do it in my older videos. Um, when I've got my Canon gear out. But yeah, the polarizer is now attached to the clip it comes with. Um, and as you know, 
the new kit just literally clips on that's it that's how easy it is to get on and that's how easy it is to get off so that's the new Lee 100 kit and like I say it comes in a fancy pack um, the polarizers on the front then as it always has been which is beautiful I absolutely love these Lee polarizers I am not going to pretend again the Lee polarizer is stunning beautifully and soft soft transition great colors really nice um, also let's put that back over there because we're not using that so we don't need that um, yeah leave it there yeah so that's the design so I can't see anywhere where the um, polarizer fits to this so I do know and we will go into this quite quickly now this is the polarizer because I have had a look at it I may sort of unboxing it now but I have actually quick had a quick look at this so I know what's in here um, it comes in a nice resin case so if you're going to be carrying it around it's a cracking little case to carry it around in unlocks KNF concept unlocks and inside this we have the polarizer this is a 77 mil polarizer and uh, this is obviously going to screw on the front of a 77 mil lens adapter or lens or whatever it is you're using so I will be able to test this out I have got 77 mil rings so uh, yeah, I will be able to check this out and I'll be able to see what it does. I mean, I just turn it as I'm looking out of the window. It's not doing a great deal, but then I am inside. There is a, yeah, I can see a little bit different. So yeah, it's, it's there ready to go. So I'm gonna keep it in this box. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm gonna lock it down, take it with us this weekend and try it out against the big old Lee and the case one, which is uh, obviously on the front of my lens at the moment. So yeah, that's one to test out. Um, again, don't need the boxes. I'm going to leave the boxes here because I'm only testing out this lock, not testing out the boxes. So that's that one. I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. What have we got inside this box? Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. So again, packaging. Take the packaging. And what do I do with the packaging? As you all know, I get rid of it. I don't want it. I don't need it. I don't use it. Um, I keep the packaging. <laughs> I'll leave it on the floor. I do keep it. Keep it how rude 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 yeah I do keep the packaging I always put it up in the loft and I've got all the boxes for all my gear so if I do ever come to sell it it can be sold back in its original packing but like I say why put all that money into packing I, I work in uh, timber packaging so I know what goes into pack you know packing stuff making stuff crates boxes and stuff like that it just gets thrown away so cheap is cheerful it looks like leather but it doesn't smell like leather beautiful case embossed on both sides knf concept both sides beautiful look at that really really nice uh lee the new lee stuff comes in this is the lee irnd this comes in a in a, a padded case with a strap around it really quite nice and these now they smell like leather yeah that actually smells like leather i don't know what it is but if that's leather good on your case <laughs> it's really nice but again unless you carry them all singly if you watch me if you know my videos i carry them in this all my filters go in this so i don't actually need those cases but they are really nice um really really nice so what we've got in here i'm waffling again one well, waffling what we've got in here as you can see i've not actually opened it. i've never been inside this it's still in its paper i'm gonna unwrap it and we've got inside a nd10 or an nd1000 so have a look at that there you go an nd1000 and it's black in color so this is going to be a long exposure a long long exposure i don't know what they're like for color casting i've not done a lot of read up on them or i've not looked into the the wording or anything um it feels quite slippery i know that's a silly word but again if you've seen me talk about these when i was cleaning my pit these case ones are really slippy they've got a funny feel about them they're just beautiful and i know the water just runs off of these absolutely fantastic the case filters i am a big lover of these well done case loving them to death um so yeah i've got the case and you also know i've also got lee stuff i started off on lee gear and i still got the lee gear this is the lee irnd and i hate them <laughs> i'm not gonna lie uh you see it's got a blue cast to it but it doesn't show up in the photos this is the lee irnd6 um, but i will be testing the um 10 stop 
to go with the rest. Uh, everything in 10, that's a six stop in there as well, so I will be getting a 10 stop out. Uh, these come with a gusset on the back, foam gusset to stop the light leak. Uh, the case one has the foam gusset on the filter, and this has no gusset whatsoever. So there's nothing on there, and there's nothing on the back of that for light leak, so that's interesting. So there's foam on there, as you've seen in the past, and there's foam on the back of this. So that'll be interesting to see if you get any light leak in there. Uh, how does it fit? Let's see how it fits. Probably like a filter. It's, uh, it's tight. Oh, it is tight, but it's a lovely fit, and it goes in pretty nice. It's a nice smooth, a nice smooth fit. But like I say, there is no gusset. Now this is going to be really difficult to show you. Let's see if I can get some white paper. The filter is in, and between the filter, oh, wrong side. Between the filter, let's come up closer to you. You can see there is a gap. Oh, somewhere, there it is. You can see the gap between the two. Now light is going to get into that. Um, if I show you the case one, let's quickly take that off. No, sorry, the Lee. If I get the Lee one and I drop that in, and like I say, that Lee is fantastic for what they do. If I was to hold this up now and show you this, let's tilt it, you can see there is absolutely no gap anywhere between them. And I'm also, because I'm being fair, I'll do the same for this. And this might be really boring, but someone may be looking for buying filters and they may be interested in getting filters. And these go in really nice. I must admit, they, they are well designed. They've got lovely round edges on them, all the glass is rounded off. It's, they are stunning. And uh, I'm gonna look at that actually, to the light. And I'm gonna be honest with you, there is actually a very, very small gap a very, very small gap. I don't know if you can see it as I tilt it. You probably can't on there because it is significantly small. No, you can't, I can't see it on there. But compared to, compared to this one, compared to this one, which is there, you can see it. You can see the gap between the two. So there is quite a big gap on that. I would say you're looking at you're looking at nearly two millimetres. In fact, you are. You're looking at the thickness of the glass. You're looking at two millimetres in that compared to this one, which is which is tiny. Tiny. So there's a, a lot less chance of getting uh, light leak in there. So case pretty good. Lee is brilliant because it's got the foam gusset on the back and it, it does, it slides in and it sort of sits against the filter. It's that good. Um, Getting all in a mess now, aren't I? Everywhere. Anyway, I've gone off a concept. I've gone off a gone off a concept. I've gone off of uh, talking about these lovely filters that they've sent me. But yeah, it fits nicely. Fits in really well. It's all going to be down to the color cast um, and how well they work. So it's going to be really interesting to test all three of these next to each other. Um, I'm quite. Uh, let's get that one out as well. I'm quite uh, taken to trying this out because not everybody owns all the gear or the kit. I'm just one of these people that enjoy buying stuff and my wife hates me spending money. As you know, Mrs. C would not be happy with me if I went and sport all this myself. But anyway, right, changing that again. Another fantastic box. What have we got inside here? I know you're screaming at me. Another beautiful case, again, all nicely embossed with the KNF Concept uh, logo. Uh, again, that box will just end up in the bin. Um, but, well, not in the bin, it just I don't use it. And inside here, we have got and this is something I was going to treat myself to, maybe over Christmas. I thought that was a crack then, but it's not. Um, this is, and I'm going to need the paper to show you what it is. This is the reverse grad. What do they tell you it is? Let me have a look on here, as I'm not great with reading. KNF Concept Pro Reverse GND8. Uh, it's a 0.9 stop. Uh, 100 to 150, it's got a bit of paper on it, reverse grad. And then the reverse grad, this is something I've really been wanting for a long time. You can see there, it's darker in the middle and it goes, it's getting closer for you. There you go, darker in the middle and it goes lighter at the top. So the idea is when you've got a, a sunset or something like that, you can actually put the sun in the middle there 
and uh, you can make it darker in the middle. And I've never had one of these, I've never tried one before, I've never even known anyone that's got one to use or borrow, so this is gonna be fantastic to use. Like, so we're going to the coast, so I'm really, really interested in seeing how this works, um, if we get the light to do it. And filter-wise, it's probably gonna end up in my case filter. It fits everything just perfectly. Let's have a look at the Lee one. They all should fit each other. Look at that, they just go in everywhere. Really, really nice. And this filter holder will also double up. It's gonna take two, and it does. It drops in beautifully. It actually feels really good in the holder. So the KNF Concepts holder is very well made. Uh, it's a metal alloy with a plastic clips on the front, and it does really, really feel nice. Um, locking system, I will talk about the locking system once I've got the rings on the lenses. At the moment all I wanted to do was unbox, show you what I've got, tell you what I'm going to be doing and hope that you're still watching and interested in finding out. So I'm going to wrap this lot back up, I'm going to put it back in their boxes and I'm going to pack it all away. I'm going to take it on holiday with me for the weekend, well not even on holiday. I'm actually doing a workshop um, um, at the weekend, a one-to-one -one, and I'm travelling a long way to go and see them. So uh, yeah, you'll jump over probably the next time you see me is with all this gear on the beach, maybe two cameras, possibly the one, and uh, yeah, ready to test it. So I know this is different. I know this is not your usual, but we are going to do the second half of the video on location by the seaside, getting wet, covered in rain, and whatever else it's going to dish out. So yeah, see you at the weekend, guys. I'm going to pack this lot away now. I'm going to be showing you a piece of kit. Now, I do not, by any chance, want to turn into a product pusher or an advertiser and stuff like that, because I like being me and I use the gear I've got. Um, but I have been contacted by KNF Concept and they asked if I'd like to look at a couple of filters. And anyone in their right mind has got to say yes. Let's face it, I mean, they're going to send me some kit to show you guys. And if I like it, I'll tell you, but if I don't like it, I will also tell you. But I am going to try out the KNF Concept Polarizer at this waterfall. As you can see, I've come up a bit closer and the temperature is quite cool there. Yeah? I hope the volume's okay because it's just rushing behind. It's dead loud and it's, it's echoing as well. Um, I just wanted to show you this. This is the, uh, this is the filter. Let's get it out of my pocket. This is the filter I wanted to show you. This is the KNF Concept polarizing filter and it comes in this lovely little case, which you've already seen anyway probably. Uh, polarizing filter, they do different sizes to fit different lenses. Um, I've plugged for the 77 because I know I've got 77 mil adapters. At the moment I've got the case filter on uh, and the polarizer works really well. By turning the front of the filter, it takes the glare out of the water and I've got this lovely leaf, should I say, down in the foreground, uh, right in the bottom left hand corner and then I've got the water flowing up through it. It's only a small part of this waterfall but I love that leaf and I didn't put it there, as I promise, it was there. Because it's autumn there's leaves all over the place, I just like that oak leaf that's on the side of the rock and the water flowing past. I've got no other ND filters on, um, I'm getting about a second to a second and a half which is enough to get some movement in the water. In all fairness I forgot them, I left them in my bag, I might go down and get them if I feel I need it. Um, but yeah, that's the case filter, and it works really well, I do love the case. Let's give this little thing a try. Uh, the problem I've got is my back's aching. I've got to take this off now. I've got to change the adapter ring that's on the back and screw it on here to take it from a 58 to a 77. So bear with me a minute while I do that. Right, I've taken the front off of the camera, you can see there. This is all I've done. I've managed to get this, uh, I managed to take the adapter ring off. Like I say, this is 58 to, 50, 58 to 77. It's just so it can take it up to this filter. I screw the filter on like so, dead easy. I won't do it up too tight because I don't want to get it jammed on there while I'm in, in this cave because I won't be able to get my other filter back on. So that's on there. I just screw that on the front of the camera. And that's it. That's it, it's on. Right, I'm going to switch my camera back on. I'm going to take the same shot again, but by using the K... The, I'm going to take the same shot again using the KNF concept filter. I'm just going to give it a spin, see what it does. 
and it works. It works lovely. Yeah, it's, it's a cracking little polarizer. And for value for money, I think these are about $30. This is an 18 layer polarizer. I'm getting rained on and drips on now. I'll try and keep the rain off. I'm going to set the camera up again. Take another shot with this on. Beautiful, 1.3 seconds. Yeah, works cracking, it's lovely. I think it's got a scratchy distant coating on it. I've got a little drop of water on the front now, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, it'll be interesting to see how well these clean up as well. But yeah, for value for money, it's dead easy to use. You can take it around, it's as small as, as, small as that connected to the front of the camera. Very nice little piece of kit to be honest. We have it. Job done. Polarizer's been done. You can see I can flick the glare around. You can probably see it changing on my face. It goes in this lovely little rubber case. It's got a rubber line case. Top goes on. It goes in your bag. No rattling or anything. Solid. Good well way of keeping them in your bag. Um, it's an 18 layer filter, apparently. Uh, it's a Nano X. Um, I'll leave a link in the description, obviously. Um, for any details and I think I've also got a discount code in there and I'm actually doing a KNF concept advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing a vlog at all. They've just absolutely wrecked that. I was doing a bit of advertising for KNF concept and they come in and they bashed and crashed my video. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to carry on. You're going to get the whole of this. Why not? They've been waiting to do that for a long, long time. They really have. Anyway, yeah, what we were doing was advertising this KNS concept uh, filter, weren't we? Uh, not for any other reason other than the fact that um, they've been sent to me to have a bit of a chat about it. And I know it's not my thing, but I did fancy having a bit of a go and uh, trying out some of the kit. So I'm going to have a little bit of a look through the lens in a minute. I'm going to take it on. I'm going to set it to a zero sort of polarization, and I'm going to wind it right round just to show you what it does. As you'll see by turning the polarizer on the front of the filter. Uh, it, it spins round, it's quite a free motion, it's a, it's a bit of a plasticky feel to be honest um, but I think for the price, you know, budget filters, uh, for quality budget filters, I think it's pretty good. The polarisation works quite well and like I say from spinning it from left to right you'll see the difference and hopefully you'll see it on the video that the way the transition moves around and you can actually see through the water and it gets rid of the glare off the top of the water. So I think it works pretty well for what it is. Um, it's definitely no Lee polarizer. I'm not going to promise you that. Um, and in no case filter, but you're paying a lot more money for them. This, for a, a budget bit of kit, is not a bad little bit of thing, you know, a bit of kit to have in your bag, I don't think. Um, and it's small and easy to carry around. You don't have to carry much more than that. You don't have to have any adapters. It just screws straight on the front of the lens. So I'm going to take a shot with this. Uh, I'm going to whack me ISO down to low. Put me ISO on low. I'm going to wind me, flick it all back. I've had it on video, haven't I? Flick it all back. I'm going to go up to F10. It's going to give me a two second exposure. And I'm also going to drop the exposure slightly so it's a little bit darker. Focus on the waterfall. Hit the shutter button. Didn't have the two second timer on them. But that'll do the, that'll show you the image. I'm also going to take the polarizer off and show you the same image again. And this is going to be at 1.2 seconds. And that'll show you the difference between the two. Uh, one with the glare and one without the glare. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of information on that filter. I'm going to put it back in my pocket now, put my other gear back on and uh, we're going to get going. It's a bit chilly.
Right, KNF concept again. This is another one for you guys if you want uh, filters on a budget. I'm up on the limestone crag. Very easy, very easy, very hard to walk on. Um, we've been asked to have a look at this thing. This is the KNF Concept uh, filter holder. You've seen me do an unboxing and you've seen the polarizer that I shot a little while ago. Um, very easy to clip on. I'll give it that. It's literally a case of pushing that button and it's on. What it doesn't have is a lock, so it does spin round. I can't see any way of locking it on. It doesn't go down or anything, so yeah, it doesn't lock in position, but that's not a big issue because in all fairness, as long as it doesn't come off, that's the important thing. Um, goes on very very easy it comes with these adapter rings which i've already screwed on the front of the lens um, again they do it comes with a whole set 52 58 62 67 72 77 82 it does every range you want for your lenses i'm sure and if you've got a lens it does a completely weird range i'm sure they've got one to fit that but it comes with a whole lot as part of the kit uh, the kit i think the kit comes in at about 40 quid i think it is um, i've got it written down somewhere if you really want to know i've brought myself some notes and i'll be true and honest with you there's my notes look i've done it all properly uh metal holder kit it is it's actually this you're going to be really impressed with this um metal holder kit with the adapter rings yeah this comes in at 36 dollars reduced to 30 dollars it is 24 pound that's with free worldwide shipping. Uh, Dan, who stood behind me here, he was after a you know budget type of kit. 24 quid for a filter holder kit, and it's metal, pretty cool. Um, they also do a metal holder kit with a 10-stop filter, i.e. this one, uh, the 10-stop ND. And that kit will come in at, and I know this is boring, this is not my usual content, uh, but this comes in at $84, reduced to $70, £55, you, uh, it, you know, Great British Pounds. Um, that's with, like I said, worldwide shipping. Uh, so for 55 quid, you get a 10-stop ND glass, quite a nice quality and quite a nice fill, and the holder and all the adapter rings. Can't argue with that, mate, I'm sorry. Doesn't matter what you say, you can't argue with that price. I know this is dearer. That Nigel, who's also over there, he's got Nissi. I also have Lee, as you know, and Case, and I can't come anywhere close to that price. So yeah, for value for money, brilliant. I'm now gonna test it out. I've got some moving clouds. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna adjust the camera slightly, and guess what? My battery went flat. <sighs> my God, I was just about to say my battery went flat, and it did go flat, and I put another one in. I was just about to say the battery went flat, and the battery went flat. That's two batteries in 30 seconds. Not bad, eh? This lot here are laughing their head off at me. Anyway, right, I've moved position slightly, and I'm sat up on the roller a bit more now. What was I saying? Yes, 10 stop, 10 stop, 10 stop. I'm here. I'm going to do a test. Uh, I've got some moving clouds. It's not ideal. I might try and do another test on it as well, but I've got some moving cloud. This is just going to show you what this uh, 10 stop does, to be honest. That's all I really wanted to do. Um, yep, beautiful piece of glass can't hear it but yeah it is glass it's got a lovely coating on it i could do it getting it wet so when i finish doing this i've got some water with me i'm going to tip some water over it just to see what the water does because i know other filters have got some amazing coatings on them for keeping them clean to be honest it's got a bit of dust on it i'm not gonna be very professional i'm gonna wipe it off with the side of my coat like any good photographer does right i'm gonna drop it in there in it goes it's a snug fit that's what you like apparently uh, no, it is a snug fit. It ain't going to fall out of there. No matter what you do, I'll take it out and show you. It is in. It's it's quite a nice feeling, actually. It does go in really nice. I have had filter holders in the past where they go in quite loosely and it doesn't give you a lot of confidence. So it does fit really nice. All right, I'm going to turn this back on, see what we get for a shutter speed. It's telling me... Oh, I can't sit on this rock. It's telling me two and a half seconds, which I know is an absolute rubbish. Uh, F10, two seconds. That's got to be so underexposed. Let's wind the exposure up. There we go. We're up now to six and a half seconds at F10. Let's go F9, 10, 11. Let's go up to F14. Uh, not the ideal for what I'd normally shoot at, but it is giving me a longer exposure. I've now got a 10 second exposure. The tree's probably going to move a little bit. I'm going to check my focus. I'm going to put my timer back on, two second timer, because Fuji, if you're listening, you need to sort the program out so that the timer stays on all the time. Um, can't be doing with turn on and off. 
Right, two second time, we'll see if we can get a bit of movement in the clouds, see if it actually works for you. But what I'm really testing more than anything is the color casting. Um, I've actually got my case filter as well, so I'm gonna drop the case filter in and do exactly the same setup and just see if there's any color cast in the image. Now, I can't really tell on the camera here. Um, yes, it works, obviously. Um, we've got movement in the clouds, we've got 10 seconds worth of movement, but what we do want to test, like I said, is the color casting. So, I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna put that back in this case. I am going to grab my, uh, I'm going to have to turn you off and come back. <laughs> what have I got in here? Hang on, what have I got in here? I've got a Lee one. Let's have a go at this. Let's, uh, what's going on with my camera? My camera's just taken an exposure of itself. <laughs> I've got my Lee one. This is the Lee Super Stopper. It's got a gusset on the back. Yeah, one of them really cool words, gusset. I'm going to slide that in the back of here. And I'm also going to mention why I'm doing that, that, uh, that that's not good advertising. Don't like that. It fell off in my hands. It did fall off in my hands. You saw that live, live. Um, yeah, this is the 10 stop IRND grad. This is 180 pounds, British pounds, 180 pounds just for the one filter on its own. That's with no mount, no holder, no anything. Uh, again, 10 second time. We will have to put the two second timer back on. Did I say 10? I did, didn't I? I didn't refocus. I probably moved the focus as well. And I'm just doing this really hab dash. They're all watching me. I'm proper on the spot. They're all waiting for the camera to go flat again. We will see if we get a color cast. I will dig out my case one because I know where it is. It's just in my bag. The focus is spot on. So that's two, two shots, two exposures. I don't like the fact that I knocked that button and that fell off. In fact, this time I'm going to pull it out. I was on about gussets, weren't I? That's the thing. It threw me a little bit. Um, but yeah. As you know, the Lee's got a gusset on the back. That's to stop the light leak. What this hasn't got, and again, this is an honest review, I can't help but be honest, this has not got a, um, a gusset on the filters and it hasn't got a gusset on here. Uh, so they, they do that and they, they did. What is this camera? It's just taking another shot. Ah, oh, I can see why. Some moron's got it on bracketing. So we are gonna go back to a single shot and hopefully, That'll work. Right, I've got to dig out my other one. Oh, hang on, we've just got a, we got, a, we got a spectator coming in from the back. Look at this. I've just been given a Nissi, a Nissi one. This is a four-way split. So let's pop the Nissi in. Again, the Nissi goes in fantastically. I'll give it the Nissi has got a rounded off edges. Yeah, this really does help it slide into the holder. That's really, really quite nice. Um, the Lee one doesn't do it and also the uh, and again, I've got to turn it back on Fuji. Are you watching this? I've got to turn the two second timer back on again. Right, I'm gonna take another exposure. 10, 10 seconds, I think it was. Um, all exactly the same settings. I haven't moved that camera in any way. I haven't changed anything at all. And this is all live. We're now up to what? Five, six minutes of talking gobbledygook. Again, Nissi 10 stop, Nissi Nano, whatever they call it. I think I've moved, I know what I have moved by pushing it around. Let's go back in there and do another one. I've pushed it forward. I've actually squashed the zoom. So I've taken another one. So I'll try and keep them all as, as close as I can. And while that's doing that, I'm going to dig out my filter. Which is in the bottom there. Right, there's my filters. Right, there's the Nissi one. Let's pull that out. And like I say, this has got rounded edges. Really, really nice. And a gusset on the back like the Lee ones. So it stops all the light leak. Cheers, Nigel. Okay. Right. This is, this is my favorite one at the moment. I can't be lying to you about this. Where are we? 1000, ND 1000, 10 stop. This is your case. And yeah, it looks purple, doesn't it? Really strange. Uh, it's the coating on it. And again, very rounded corners, absolutely beautiful. No gusset because the holder for this comes with a gusset. Um, I don't even know if gusset's the right word, but that's what I'm calling it. Uh, could call it flange, but that sounds even worse, doesn't it? Right, we're focused back on the tree, hit the shutter button again, take another one. So that's four different filters. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of here just testing the, the, the more budget type one, really, the KNF concept one. Like I said, they've been good enough to send them to me and ask me to look at them. So I, I, I promised I would and I would. Uh, but I will be honest with you. Right, that's four different filters. I cannot tell you about the, the colour casting until I get home. 
I do some processing, I'm gonna bung all four images up, I'm gonna process them all in exactly the same way, yeah? I'm not gonna do any messing around with the colors, uh, not gonna change anything at all. So I'm gonna show you all four images, one after the other. You let me know what you think about the color casting and uh, I'll let you know somehow I'll put a message on the photo just to tell you which what I think of the actual casting of this but at the moment I think it's pretty good like I said I'm going to do a water test on it and I'll switch you back off I'm going to put my camera back in the bag these guys here are cold and waiting for me so I'll do a water test and I'll be back in two minutes it's gonna knock this on right as you can see, I am donning my red coat. I've got Denise's waterproofs on and I've got three filters in my hand because someone won't give me the Nissy one. Or do you want to? No. No, he doesn't. <laughs> He's shaking his head. No, 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 I don't. I am going to test this. This is Compton style. I have got three filters in my hand here. All right. Three filters. KNF Concept. The Lee, seriously expensive. 180 pound. IRND 10 and I've got my case one, my favourite my favorite lens. I've got all three lenses in and I wanted to test them for water and funny enough it stopped raining. But we've come up with an idea of how to test these and I'm not looking forward to this. There's your filters. Ready? Give it to me! <laughs> right. <laughs> Damn. Right. Here's your filters. I've got wet. Good job of wearing Gore-Tex, isn't it? Right, here's your filters. I'm gonna shake them off just for a starter. And this is what I wanna see. This is what I wanna see. <laughs> right. The water has run off of them pretty well. The k &F Concept has handled that really quite a good. Of course, the case one has. Look how shiny that case is, yeah? That is pretty good. I reckon a wipe and that'll be spotless. The Lee one, well, I don't think we're going to get that clean without a special cloth or anything else. What I'm going to do now is move the camera, dry my hands off, because it's freezing, <laughs> and I'm going to get my cloth out and give these a wipe and see what they turn out like. There's a real life test for you guys. Don't mess around, I tell you. All right, guys. Just borrowed uh, Owen's cloth. This is a proper microfiber cloth. I think it's even got a name on it, is it? Blah, blah, blah. It's a proper microfiber cloth. It's not a pretend one. We'll start with the KNF because that's really what we're here to do. And I'm just basically all I want to do is I want to give it a wipe. Wipe it off. Oh my God, brilliant. I just wanted to wipe it off to see how well it dried off with a normal cloth. You can't quite there. Look at that. Absolutely spotless. KNF, 100%, really easy to wipe off and clean. If it rains, you're going to get that dry in seconds and reuse it. Of course, I'm hopeful for this one because I love this lens. KNF Concept, again, a quick wipe. And look at that, both sides. There's hardly any water on it, to be honest. It's all falling off. I don't even need to dry it. You could use it before. And there you go, a bit of reflection. There you go, absolutely spotless, all right? And you're gonna love the next one. Lee, 180 British pounds. We wipe it off with a cloth. Yeah, first, and we wipe it off with another dry bit. Brilliant, we're getting there. And then we wipe it off again with a dry cloth. And it's getting there, you can see it's almost getting there. And we wipe it off again. This is just one side, I haven't turned it over yet. We wipe it off again, and it's still smeary. Let's try and find a clean bit of cloth. We give it another wipe. Are you bored yet? Yeah, I am. Can you see why I've gone over to using case? It's almost clean. I'll hold it up to the light. You can see there's a speck there. Where are we there? And if I do put my finger on it by mistake, you're gonna get a fingerprint right in the middle. But we haven't cleaned the back yet, have we? Look at that, still wet. So, in all fairness, I'm just going to give up and clean it when I get home. I can't be asked. Right, so that's going to go back in the bag. I'll give Owen his cloth back. That's me test. That's me bit of a review. The review and the answer is if you want a budget filter system for, what did I say it was? £24. Uh, how much was it with a... $29. I've lost me a bit of paper. That's uh, just with, the, with this filter. Oh, I'm going to put it down there. 
I'm really stringing this out, aren't I? Woohoo! Right, what did I say it was? Uh, 55 pound, that is for an ND filter and the holder. If you just want to buy the filter on its own, I've got that for you as well. The filter on its own, ND1000, it retails at $60, free UK, free worldwide shipping at £63. So how do you work that out? I must have got that wrong, because it can't be £53 and £55 for the lot. I'll check them, I'll put all the links in the description below. Uh, the polarizer I was using earlier on, CPL polarizer, uh, 77 mil, 18 layer, super slim, $65, 50 quid. Uh, so there you go, £50 for that polarizer. Um, but you do do a cheaper one for 20. So there you go, review done. Cheers, see you back at the office. Right, I'm just running a bit of a test. Um, KNF Concept, as you know, I've done a few uh, trials on some of their gear. Um, I'm just testing out the 10 stop for them. Um, they sent me the 10 stop filter and I've just bunged it in the camera. Now I'm using it in my case mount purely because I've got my mount on me and I've left the adapter ring for the, um, the other mount, which is in my pocket. I'll just pull it out and show you. It's in a lead pouch. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I've left a 58 mil adapter ring on that one so it won't fit this lens, which is a 62. So uh, yeah, I've just put the KNF 10 stop in. I'm just doing a long exposure for a minute now, just to give a bit of a comparison between uh, my uh, filter I normally use, my case one, and the KNF. Um, I think this KNF filter, though, the 10 stop's pretty good so far with a little test I've done on it. And uh, value for money, it's fantastic value for money. Um, all the details, like I say, I'll put in the link below. One second, there we go, one second done. And that is another beautiful, beautiful image color cast looking on the back of the camera compared to my case one um, I would say there is a bit of a color cast on it um, but again I can't be sure most of these things can be taken out in post anyway I can't get it out of my holder let's just push my holder up oh, I've moved the composition slightly what I want to do and this is going to bust my knees cheers Mr. Root I'm just going to chuck mine in so I'm doing exactly the same comparison between uh, the case and the oh let's knock this back down I think it's back down there yeah the case and the KNF and I have moved my camera slightly let's just pull it back get it roughly in the same position as it was before I'm not going to change any settings it's f one point uh, f f 6.4 ISO is on 160 and I'm at 60 seconds so yeah it's two exactly the same exposures two exactly the same lenses cameras and everything and the two filters uh, so yeah, just to give you an idea of the colour cast, I'll put the two raw images together, then I'll do a bit of processing just to show you that colour casting you can be eliminated quite well. Um, so yeah, let's wait for this, 40 seconds, 39, 38, so I'll let this finish off, put the images up, just let me know what you think, um, what do you reckon? And like I say, for value for money, that filter that's in there at the moment is four times, I think four times, definitely three times the price of that one, so yeah. If you want a cheaper system, you want to get into doing these longer exposures and stuff like that, that's the one to look at. Right, there you go, job done.